Ladies and gentlemen, hell has officially frozen over. As you may have been able to notice from the left side of my face still being swollen, I'm still recovering from the whole allergy smoke thing. But there's something really important that we need to talk about today, and I don't even have like a script to make this video look professional or anything like that, which is so exciting. We have to talk about it and let you guys know. So before I get too far into it, first I have to thank Jay Pate from Kitech. She's the one who like sent me the link and who got me up to date on all of this. She's a really, really good friend of mine, very, very smart woman. And she's doing a lot of really cool stuff with NSC, which we're going to be talking about here in just a second. And hopefully get her here on the channel here really soon so we can talk about the projects that she's working on because they're really cool. Okay, so um, on this channel we talk a lot about proximity marketing, right? And most of the time that's kind of limited to Bluetooth beacons. Bluetooth beacons are cool. We love Bluetooth beacons. They have some drawbacks, okay? And one of those major drawbacks has been just Apple in general, right? Except they finally did something cool. They had their big announcement this morning where they were talking about like the new iPhones that they're releasing and like updates to their core iOS and all the other stuff. That's great. I'm an Android user. I'm never going to switch over to, to Apple, but my wife likes them. So, you know, we're watching it. Fingers crossed, hoping to hear something about Bluetooth beacons today. And we didn't hear anything about beacons, but we did hear about NFC. Now, NFC is the other part to our proximity marketing puzzle. This is an NFC tag. It's my business card. And inside this business card is a little teeny tiny chip that you guys can't see. When this chip comes in contact with this phone, it'll beep, but I had to mute this because it kept going off because everybody's texting me about this super announcement. It takes you to a website. Now, it can also take you to an app. In this case, it's taking you to a PayPal.me account so people can actually spend, send me money, which is neat. We like it when that happens. I'm not even gonna edit this video because I'm so excited about it. Now, NFC functionality like this has been around on Android for years. It's, it's actually really commonly used it's a subset of RFID, which is your radio frequency identifiers. NSC is near field communication. So, like if you guys remember a few years ago, they were showing those commercials for like Samsung where you could send pictures between phones just by tapping the two phones together. It's actually the same technology and it's been around ever since then. And we use these a lot in our proximity marketing campaigns. We actually use them in a very similar way to our Bluetooth beacons, only with a much shorter range. And we actually run into a lot of the same problems with them as well. You know, we had problems with Apple not accepting them. You had to have a third-party app installed in order to read the tags. But the new iPhones, um, specifically all of them except for the iPhone X, it has to be like the iPhone XS and like the R and the WWD40, whatever the other phones are called, they all support NSC natively without any extra apps. That means that Apple has finally caught up to Android after years, and like even Nintendo can do this, like the Nintendo Switch, actually even like the Nintendo Wii's or the Wii U's, have NFC tag readers <laughs> built into their game consoles that Apple's just now catching up. But this is another really, really powerful tool that you guys now have access to that works on both of the major platforms. So you can go out and you can do these campaigns, you can talk to your restaurants and say, hey, you know, we can get these notifications to show up, we can send people to these websites, all they have to do is tap their phone on this card, or on this sticker, and then you can start getting email opt-ins, you can start getting uh, Facebook Messenger subscribers, you can start doing all these other really neat things that we weren't able to do before. So think of them as Bluetooth beacons, except that their range is significantly shorter. Now that does adjust the way that we use them and some of the thought process that go into setting up our campaigns, simply because instead of trying to cover an entire area, we're focusing on individuals. One example of this is instead of having a Bluetooth beacon like up on a wall in a restaurant, we'd actually have NFC tags and like the table tents for each of the tables and that we users can click on that or like tap their phone on the on the tag and then that will take them to the website where then they can claim their free drinks or their coupons or whatever. The other neat thing about uh, using NFC tags is that they're significantly cheaper than Bluetooth beacon. Like the average cost for a Bluetooth beacon is like somewhere between $15 and $30. This thing was $1.50 and this was expensive. Uh, most of the tags that we get actually cost between 50 and 60 cents and you can get them cheaper than that as well. Now they did give us some extra information here about the requirements and how this is actually going to work so let me read that to you real quick before my camera overheats. But it just says that what's going to do is that um, whenever the phone's turned on then it will be actively looking and scanning for uh, NFC tags in the background. It's going to look for URLs and if that sounds kind of weird to you then a lot of the Apple apps actually have a URL that's already attached to it and so um, it's going to work the same way. So you can actually do app intent by using the specific app URL, or if you just have a normal URL, then it's gonna open up in Safari, according to what this guy says over here. 
Uh, it still requires that you use NDEF formatted NFC tags, but it will accept all kinds of NFC tags right now, which is awesome. And if you're not sure what an NDEF formatted tag is, then we actually have some training on this. It's in our proximity marketing course. I'll talk about that here in just a second. So it'll only read the first URL that comes in the payload. So the payload is like the packet for the, the NFC tags. And so that means that like this thing can hold like 200 different URLs. And so when that tag is scanned, it's only going to open up that first URL. So if I have like three or four on there, it's only going to read the first one. Now the way that it works is when a tag is scanned, it's going to open up a notification like at the top of the screen. And then the user has to tap that notification. It's going to go and then perform whatever action is included on the tag. Typically that's going to be taking people either to an app or taking them to a website. And the other thing about this is that the notification stays on the phone even after the tag has been scanned, so it will stay there for a little bit of time. So you have a little bit more permanence on there, which is again, pretty darn neat. Now, if you guys are curious and want to learn more about using NFC tags, we do have a section in our big proximity marketing course where we talk about NFC, we talk about um, getting the tags, programming the tags, programming the, the NDEF uh, file formatting. We talk about two of our case studies. One of them is for our smart city project and the other one is how we're using NFC for our zoos and our museums. And so if you guys want to check that out, definitely check out the course. And if you're interested in something that's just specifically on NFC, if there's enough interest in it, it is maybe we can take that section out of the main course and create like a little mini course with that content. And then that way, um, you know, you guys can get that and just get the section that you want instead of having to go through the whole thing. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if that's something you guys are interested in. Uh, like leave me like your email and then I'll get in contact with you guys or something like that. And then, um, see how that goes so yeah uh but yeah i'm gonna go party and have fun because this is amazing news and we're really excited about this and we are going to make a ton of money so have fun you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video we're gonna be talking a lot more about nse <laughs>